let us now discuss the fourth topic of the lecture that, that is recent trends in environmental sociology. While studying the nature and society interaction, environmental sociology has shifted from studying the social causes and consequences of environmental degradation to address possible solutions to these environmental problems. In other words, while studying society environment interaction, environmental sociology has shifted from focusing the causes of environmental degradation to managing the environmental risk produced by this degradation. While in the initial years, environmental sociologist was more interested in understanding the social causes of environmental degradation, the social processes responsible for environmental degradation. Towards 1990s, environmental sociologists become more interested in providing solutions to manage this risk or in other words, risk management has become the new areas of investigation in environmental sociology. While environmental sociologists deal with different topics, they deal with very broad areas of research, we may broadly classify or we may broadly identify four different areas of research or we may broadly identify four recent trends of research in environmental sociology. So, these are necessarily the subject matter of contemporary environmental sociology. So, these four areas include environmental attitude, values and behavior, number two environmentalism and environmental movements, three technological risk and risk assessment and number four political economy of environment and environmental politics. So, let us begin with the first area of research or the first uh, trends of research in environmental sociology, environmental attitudes and values. Over the years, there has been three areas of research on environmental attitudes and values, the socio-structural, socio-psychological as well as the applied research on environmental values. With regard to the socio-structural approach or with regard to the socio-structural aspect of understanding environmental attitude and values, there has been research on whether environmental attitudes differ based on class, gender, age, uh, ethnicity, uh, occupation place of residence or in other words different structural aspects of society have been correlated with environmental values and attitudes. There has been studies concerning the question of decline or rise of uh, public opinion regarding environmental quality, whether people are becoming more and more concerned about environmental quality, whether they are becoming more and more concerned about environmental problems or not. There has been also studies based on environmental concerns uh, based on education, age, uh, uh, residents, political ideology, etc. Whether people belonging to a certain location, whether people uh, of certain certain age, or whether people with certain education, certain levels of education, are more concerned about environment. B whether people belonging to certain uh, age, uh, uh, economic positions, and uh, political ideology, they are more concerned about environmental problems. The socio-psychological aspects of environmental attitude and values correlates between the attitudes and the actual behavior. For example, when persons become aware of the negative consequences of their action, maybe they develop certain moral norms, certain moral uh, behaviors towards the nature or towards the environment. For example, not using plastic, for example, uh, saving energy, for example, protecting uh, environment. Maybe these kind of behaviors, these kind of attitudes emerge only when we recognize the negative consequences of our behavior only when we understand that our specific kinds of behavior leads to certain degradations of the environment or, or environmental degradation is a product of our own behavior. So, this understanding, this knowledge, this awareness about the negative consequences of our own behavior perhaps certain sometimes lead to, to develop certain kind of attitudes and behaviors towards environment. With regard to applied research on environmental attitudes, research has mostly focused on policy and understanding and evaluating certain policies. There has been, there has been research on evaluating environmental policies, uh, there has been research on knowing people's perceptions towards certain policies. In other words, environmental sociology has been used as an instrument to formulate, improve and evaluate policy. So, environmental sociologists have started playing a greater role in policy formulation, policy improvement and policy evaluation, whether certain policies environmental policies are, are actually creating certain kind of environmental awareness about pe among people. The applied research on environmental attitudes, applied research on environmental values has mostly focused on policy based research, policy based evidence based sociological research on environmental policies. 
The second subject pattern or the second area of research in contemporary sociology is that of environmentalism and environmental movements. Studying social movements was something not new to sociologists. However, when environmental problems became global problems, sociologists dealing with study of social movements became interested in studying environmental movements. These studies aimed at understanding social base and the composition of environmental groups. Uh, initially, it paid attention to, to large scale social movements concerning nature or large scale environmental movements. But from 1990s, attention also has shifted to understand small scale local conflicts, small scale local conflicts over nature. Say for example, the anti-nuclear protest, protest against the toxic waste, protest against certain technology. So these protests, these environmental movements mostly are localized in nature. But we need to understand that while these protests may appear at certain localities, but they may not necessarily be considered as local environmental problems. They are two global environmental problems, but limited certain geographical locations. So therefore, one of the important area of research in environmental movement has been understanding the global and local linkages of these movements. While these movements are local in action, but in terms of its impact, in terms of its, its ideology, these movements are necessarily global. So therefore, environmental social movements, a study of environmental social movements have, have paid attention to understand the global local linkages of these environmental movements. Another important factor in understanding environmental movement has been to understand the scale shift in environmental movements. Because as I referred, environmental movements sometimes may begin a particular location. They may begin with, with, with a certain localities, but they do not remain local. Sometimes they become global movements. How, so how does the scale of these environmental movements shift from being a localized struggle to that of a global social movement? So that has become subject of investigation for environmental sociologists. Say, for example, movement against uh, deforestation. Say, for example, movement against uh, water pollution. While these movements may begin with certain localities, but they turn out to be global movements. And environmental sociologists have paid attention in understanding the global local linkages as well as the scale shift of these movements from being a localized struggle to that of a global environmental movement. The third area of research in environmental sociology or the third subject matter that uh, we discuss in environmental sociology is study about technological risk and risk assessment. It is important to understand that public concerns about risk, public awareness about risk increase due to the environmental movements. Environmental movements increase awareness about, among the people. It increased knowledge about these environmental degradations among the people and therefore, Several studies came out understanding the role of risk in environmental policy making, how certain environmental policies produce certain kind of risk, how certain environmental actions produce certain kind of environmental risk. Because perhaps by understanding the risk, we can avoid this risk. Perhaps by understanding this risk, perhaps by, by, by examining this risk, we can find a solution to this risk. Further, with the, with the increasing instances of, of risk, there has been more emphasis in understanding this kind of risk. There has been studies concerning uh, public protest against technological innovations. Uh, there has been studies concerning uh, movement against certain kind of technology. And these created important areas of research within environmental sociology. The fourth subject matter of environmental sociology is that of political economy and environment or studying about the political economy to nature. The political economic approach draws its inspiration from the new Marxian perspective, where the major emphasis has been to understand the distributional conflicts and its impact on environmental policy. The political economic approach to environment makes it clear that while environmental problems are global problems, while environmental problems are problems for all, but they do not impact all in the similar manner. Environmental degradation, environmental uh, risk are necessarily classed, they necessarily affect different classes of population in a different manner. In other words, environmental problems create certain kind of inequalities in society as well as they distribute their bads also in an unequal manner. Along with the distributional uh, conflicts, political economic approach also try to understand what are the favorable conditions for growth and success of certain movements and what political conditions certain movements succeed while at other times, they may not succeed. So, political economic approach basically try to extend 
that how social inequality is sometimes reaffirmed or, or political economic approach try to uh, it, it tries to ex extend the argument that the already existing inequality of the society, the existing unequal social structure sometimes create new kind of problems when society and, and nature interact with each other. That environmental degradations, environmental problems create different kind of consequences for different sections of the society. So, dear students, let us recapitulate what we discussed in today's lesson. We mainly discussed four topics in today's lecture. Number one, sociology disciplinary response to the study of environmental issues, where I discussed about how sociology reacted towards this environmental factors, as well as why sociology was late as a discipline to response towards these environmental issues and problems. The second topic that we discussed today is applying sociological perspectives to environmental issues, where we discuss how sociological perspectives on social movements, how soci sociological perspectives of uh, understanding leisure behavior, these were applied to understand environmental issues in 1960s. The third topic that we discussed today is emergence of environmental sociology, where we discuss that starting from 1960s, environmental sociology has emerged as an independent discipline. While attention was focused in 1960s in applying sociological perspectives to understand environmental issues, by 1970s, environmental sociology has emerged as a distinct field of inquiry. And finally, we discussed about the subject matter or recent trends in environmental sociology, while we discuss that contemporary environmental sociologists deal about environmental attitude and values, they deal about environmental movements, uh, they deal about technological risk and, and, and risk assessment and finally, uh, environmental sociologists deal with the political economic approach to environment. So, broadly these constitute the subject matter of environmental sociology. So, I hope by now you must have understood the emergence of environmental sociology as an independent field of inquiry within the core discipline of sociology. In the next class, we will discuss about an ecological critic to sociology or how sociologists were not prepared to deal with or how sociology was not prepared to comprehend some of the new problems that faced the human society or some of the new problems that confronted the human society in 1960s and 70s. So, we will discuss about the ecological critique to sociology. Thank you.